Welcome back to coverage of the New Capenna Championship. I'm Ailey Loney alongside Corey Baumeister, and man, we've seen some excellent games so far, Corey. Yes. The next one should be one of them as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a really good one, seeing uh, Azorus Auras up against Izzet Phoenix. Always a close matchup, so this is going to be really, really good. Mr. Coming out of retirement himself, Andre Strasky up against George Grillers. So let's jump into the action here and see what these players can come up with here. I haven't seen Auras yet this weekend because we've just started the historic section. So mm -hmm. if uh, you've been wanting to see Auras, well, you are here in time, my friends. As we look at the opening hands here, not too shabby. We have the goodest boy, selfless savior, sentinel's eyes, and a curious obsession up against just one land there. Do we keep that one? Yeah, tough one for... Is it to keep as well? And it does look like Strosky Mulligan that as well. It was like four mm -hmm. lands, you know, that's just a mm -hmm. little bit too much for this Azorius Auras deck. You just need to be able to chain off some spells. And this one looks a lot better Yeah. for Andre. Yeah. You know, you want to definitely get Core Spirit, Dance or Stram, Senior Edificer in your opening hand. Mm -hmm. Storm Chaser, Drake does a similar thing to both of these creatures, both of the white creatures. But yeah, having, having one of those out, you're going to feel a lot better about the opener. Yep, absolutely. And this Azorius Auras deck, you know, they got to be feeling pretty good about their Phoenix matchup because going into Historic, you have to expect that that's the number one deck. Mm. So we'll we'll see if that is actually true here. And we hope that Gregor can actually just keep a functional hand here. One land, not ideal, but you do have Consider to be able to sculpt your hand to play Letter Shredder on turn two. Yep. Also the Dragon's Rage Chandlers, which can help to get some nuisance off the top of the library. So pretty good start here for both players as we get things underway. Spire Bluff Canal gets Dragon's Rage Chandler down on the board, passes the turn back into Strasky, who will be able to run out Stram Senior Edificer, which unfortunately is gonna have some trouble breathing very shortly, I imagine. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But when you're Andre here, you can't just not cast one of your two drops. Ideally, you want to wait for that turn three when you can play SRAM into Sentinel's Eyes or Glaring mm. uh, Ignis. But, just... um, oh, excuse me. Um, where you want to be able to back it up with that. But if you don't hit a land, you just have to keep playing your cards and just hope they run out of removal. Yeah, for sure. So here we're going to see Dragon's Rage Chandler chipping for one point of damage. SRAM is off the battlefield. Esper Sentinel, pretty decent draw here. Ideally would have liked that one-two punch of, all right, mm -hmm. land number three, get a Core Spirit Dancer down, get Sentinel's Eyes going. Boom, start drawing cards. Not the yep. case for this turn, unfortunately. Yeah, even Esper Sentinel, you know, maybe into Sentinel's Eyes or something would have been ideal, but with the island there, unable to do that. Hmm. Esper Sentinel's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they just get smushed together, but we're going to see Consider here on the end go. step. Take a look at the top of the library, ditch another Unholy uh -oh. Heat, and ooh, hello, Dragon's Rage Chandler in the bin. We are delirious. And there we go. No land, Huzzah. but oh, there's land number three. Ideal Very cool. for Gregor. Ooh, and a Faithless Looting. Ooh, we could see some shenanigans, Corey. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh... An interesting start here. Decides to go with a little bit more conservative play. Letter Shredder and then just deal with this Drake and then yep. start to have a really powerful turn. Next turn with Faithless Looting, maybe bringing back our Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, and uh, with this Connive Trigger on the stack, Arclight Phoenix is likely hitting the graveyard mm -hmm. now. Otherwise, it's another Faithless Looting in the bin, but yeah, let's get rid of Arclight Phoenix. There's two spells out of the three we need to bring that bad boy back, so things looking pretty darn good here for Gregor. Uh, where are the lands? Come on, yeah. library. Yeah, when uh, Azorius Auras behaves and gives you that proper <laughs> amount of lands and kind of stops at three, you know, the deck just looks incredibly powerful. Yep. But whenever you just can't strap things up and, and your creature gets dealt with right away, it becomes oh. a lot more difficult. Oof, that's nice. <laughs> On the other side of things, I'm quite enjoying this turn here from Gregor Gruers as uh, he's now got two big pigeons in the bin. And let's see if we can find a couple more here. <laughs> wow, that was a big crackling drake that gets <laughs> sent west as well. Ledger Shredder's going to ditch a couple more things. <laughs> and then we're going to see some birdies fly. Yeah, well, let's see if we're going to see a close game in Historic so far for this round, Ailey, because this one is going to look like 
a bit one-sided here as long as we cast that <laughs> third spell, bringing back a Phoenix here. This is an incredible draw from Gregor, drawn out of that one-lander. Yeah, unbelievable yep. stuff. <laughs> and uh, as chat has so eloquently put, people who don't like Phoenix don't understand the depth, skill, patience, and time it takes to learn an intricate and complex deck. You got some spelling errors in there, friends. Might want to check your copy pasta as you go, but let's go check in the sideboard, yeah? What are we doing here? All right, let's see what we want to be doing. We want to take out some arcane flights. That makes a lot of sense from Andre Strosky. All the creatures fly out of Gregor's deck. As far as Gregor goes, just try to bring in anything that deals with creatures. You probably don't want those angers or sweltering suns just because, well, you know, the creatures ideally get out of range of that yeah. um, pretty quickly. But you're going to see Fry being excellent, being able to take down any of the two drops. And just really, you know, make sure you have enough disruption from Andre Strosky's side. Slip out the back being the new addition from mm -hmm. this deck that kind of set it to new heights, not only being able to protect your creature, you get to keep your auras attached to it and put an additional counter on it. Uh, something that I know this team is very mm -hmm. excited about as an addition for this deck. Yeah, it's just a cheap, cheap little uh, save or safety spell, if you want to call it like that, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. See a mulligan here from Andre Strasky, who finds two core spirit dancers, Tormod's Crypt to deal with pesky graveyards, as well as the Sentinel's Eyes. So he'll be happier with that. And more importantly, Gory, yeah. three lands. No, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> That's what oh, I no, was going to think, too. I was like, does Strasky, because <laughs> of the last game, decide to mm. keep a third land or just stick to his gameplay? <laughs> I like that from Strasky. You don't want to be results oriented when it, when yeah, it comes sure. to these kind of things, but we'll I, see if it I pays off. It can't happen twice, right? Exactly, right? exactly. Oh, fingers crossed for you, buddy. <laughs> Sram Senior Edificer is going to be the first one sent to slaughter as an unholy heat on the other side of the battlefield. Can't take care of him, but first and foremost, let's opt to take a look-ski at the top of the library and find something spicy. Ooh, another Rider's unholy hand heat. is excellent right now. Yeah. Absolutely excellent. That is pretty mm. much the ideal hand you want here. You're able to unholy heat, get rid of the Sram, Hold up on Holy Heat in case Andre tries to go Spirit Dancer into equipment or just play a Consider and then have Expressive Iteration open for the next turn. A Ow, huge... You see? You see? I told you, Corey. <laughs> yep. Always keep the third, the third turn. Third turn is cursed. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it is brutal, though, because if you don't have Tormod's Crypt here, these Phoenix draws, if we do find a Faithless looting, if Gregor finds a Faithless looting here, it's just going to be, you know, pretty much game yeah. over. So it, it's tough. It's tough. And there is the Faithless looting, so we yeah. might see Strosky's decision paying off, even though it doesn't look like it right now. Yeah, so Legislator, though, an ideal creature down on this board. Unholy Heat will take care of the Core Spirit Dancer. We'll get some conniving going. Yep. Oh, rescue birds. Birds are going bye-bye. Now, we want to get this Tormod's Crypt off the battlefield ASAP because there's only, mm -hmm. like, one copy of it, perhaps, in the sideboard? Yeah, I know Two there copies. is not many, that's for sure. Yeah. So if, if just one bird takes the hit, sure, that's fine, but the next birds will be safe. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to see from Gregor is something like play three spells, but don't discard that other Arclight Phoenix mm. and then just try to get Strosky to bite on that. Maybe Strosky does, maybe doesn't, but there's a third bird. Imagine if this Tormod's <laughs> Crypt wasn't here, you're very likely to be bringing all them back as long as you found one yeah. one mana spell off Faithless Looting and the Kanai from Letter Shredder. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a pretty good job here of keeping Gregor at bay, you know, completely just letting loose and getting all of these birds going because he could sure do that, yeah. but he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's just like I can call. I can hard cost these birds. You're you're in danger either way. Stuck on two lands once again is Drasky, and his legislator is just gonna chuck a copy of a mountain here. Yeah, without that Tormod's crypt here though, you Gregor could easily have an attack for twelve this turn. It's pretty <laughs> tough to come back. So you know maybe we won't have to argue with Andre Strasky keeping that card over a third land too much because that is definitely <laughs> going to be protecting him here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the Dragon's Rage Chandler was found here as well. Again, you're not going to see the Phoenixes being discarded. But this might be enough to get Strasky to pull the trigger on that Tormod's Crypt just to prevent the three extra damage in the sky. So 
Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we didn't cast the third nope. spell here yet, so we're yeah. not trying to bring it back, but just a DRC here coming out, even though it is delirious, but Tormod's Crypt can kind of mess with that a little bit. Still a good mm -hmm. play to just get another threat in, and I'm with you, Ailey. I'm jamming Arclight Phoenix just for four mana next turn and go from there. <laughs> On the other side of things, Strasky, unfortunately, not finding land number three once again. Selfless Savior is the only creature that can attack and can't get mm -hmm. through the Dragon's Rage channel right now. Of course, Spirit Dancer is just hanging out for the time being. Yep, and I do want to remind people, Andre Strosky is in third place right now for the World Championship spot with the amount of points he has, but mm -hmm. Andre really does need to make it to day two here. Four is that magic number for Andre, so, you know, this. these are still some really big matches here for the league players. Yep. That race is really tight right now. Yeah, I mean, there was about five or six players all tied up at 66 points for those yep. of you keeping track in the races. Yeah, so much to play for this weekend. You want to get your seat in that world championship. And unfortunately, the way this match is going, it's not looking like this is going to be a W for Andre Strasky. But Gregor Gruers is just continuing to push the advantage here. All the spells he could possibly want. Another Dragon's Rage Chandler, a spell pierce to protect against anything that Strasky may have in hand. And mm -hmm. yep, it's he's not gonna be able to pay for it at this rate. Yeah, spell pierce excellent right now against Heliod's punishment. If that's you know what Strasky is trying to do to recover a little bit here. Mm, might yeah, be getting this the is not looking great. Ledger Shred is just like, nah, I don't need this. Spell pierce in the bin. Yep. Another Dragon's Rage Chandler down and a strangle to kill one of these creatures. Yeah, and we'll see if we want to fire that strangle off. You do have the selfless spirit to protect Core Spirit Dancer. So we'll see if it's time to activate that Tormod's Crypt. And then you can actually block with Selfless Savior to trade mm -hmm. with Dragon Rage Channeler. But if that does happen, then Strangle from Gregor is able to just clean up Core Spirit Dancer. Yeah. And Andre's just recognizing the only way I win is if I chain together some auras onto Core Spirit Dancer, so I just cannot do that right now. Yeah. And decides to I save think it. I actually would have I would have loved to have seen Gregor ditch one of these Phoenixes to keep that spell pierce up. Because yeah. this next turn, Strasky's basically got free reign to do whatever the heck he wants. So this could spell bad news. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with you on that. I think that would have been maybe a little bit There's more safe, end. but Still, even even with Strosky just going off this turn, Gregor can just animate that den, can just hard cast yeah. a phoenix. You know, still a lot of things uh, that can be cast. Step one, deal with Ledger Shredder at least for a few turns. Yep. Ooh, Staggering Insight is a great aura. Needs one more land to be able to cast it. And then we got Lifelink on the core Spirit Dancer. And there's no interaction with it right now, so... How does Strasky want to go about this turn? Decides. Do you to want to draw with... a card? Yes, that's what my <laughs> deck does. Gimme. <laughs> yeah, can I hit Jeez. yes for every single one of these, please, for the whole tournament? Yeah, unless I have like one card left in the library. I'm drawing a freaking card. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Decides to play Sentinel's Eyes here to be able to get in some damage and still have a blocker left mm -hmm. open to probably have to you know, blow up Tormod's Crypt to be able to then block one of these Dragon Rage Channelers instead of Curious yeah. Obsession for the same amount of damage and actually netting an extra card. Strasky just recognizing, I have to play defensively here. Yeah. And I think Strasky's pulling it back here because now on the attack step, he can do what you mentioned in the previous one where he can Tormod's Crypt, get rid of the graveyard and eat one of these Dragon's Rage Channelers, preventing the six damage in the air. Mm -hmm. Now, likely just going to hard cost the Arclight Phoenix here, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the Tormod's Crypt get popped now. Exactly, and there's no choice here from Gregor to be yeah, able to play around to that line. You have to attack with these Dragon Rage Channelers, so I mean, it just has to be that point you would think here, yeah. even though it's yeah, not ideal. It. It's not ideal, but it does save face, and next turn, I mean, there's one mana up. Sure, it could be Spell Pierce, but he's got that extra land. He's got the fourth land, Staggering Insights, mm -hmm. adds some life to Strasky, and I think he can pull it back from here if the cards continue to flow. And there is a slight chance you can hit Delirium if you hit all four types, <laughs> you know, in a perfect world. Uh, it's, it's for sure not right. easy. Okay, well, now you can't. Instant. There's the a instant. second instant. Yep. That's, yeah, that's a sorcery. <laughs> that's not going to cut it. Okay. All right, so one of these is getting munched. 
all of a sudden with staggering insight and curious obsession being able to be mm -hmm. strapped here this is going mm -hmm. to be a lot of damage and wow how is Strosky actually looking like you know he could be doing okay in this game so much value look at the value i mean this thing is going to get ginormous curious obsession chuck it on there too we're going to draw two more cards we're going to make this course spirit dancer even chunkier that's a 911 and we can stick another one in here for good measure heck why not let's just get a bunch of life draw a bunch of cards and things are looking pretty darn good now for Strasky. That's almost a one-hit kill there. Good grief. Yeah, holy. And just being <laughs> able to gain that all back. Now, all of a sudden, Ooh. you just can't imagine Strasky losing. That is just how explosive yeah. this Azorius Aura's deck is. Yeah, it's incredible. Once it gets going, just you just need the lands to behave. That's all. <laughs> but luckily, Strasky found the land that he needed. Kept that puppy dog around to protect the core spirit dancer. I mean, that's the that's the real hero of the story, right? The good boy, the selfless savior. I mean, it really, this game was completely over without that selfless savior. And mm -hmm. Strosky, you know, played that instead of playing core spirit dancer when that was his last creature mm -hmm. that really goes off with these enchantments. So yeah, you know, I might uh, I might understand why Maria loves this deck so much. This deck is sweet. It is sweet. Man, I love Staggering Insight. That was one of my favorite cards from Theros. You yeah. know, just being able to get cards off of it, get life. Oh, it's just great, as we it see now. One. Gregor is digging, trying to find an answer here for this massive core spirit dancer. Only one thing can block it at the moment, as Ledger Shredder still hasn't finished all his tasks with Heliod's punishment. Yeah, and at this point, the Phoenix deck is not very good at dealing with a creature that has more than six toughness. You know, Unholy mm -hmm. Heat being one of the most incredible removal spells, if not the best removal spell in the format, doesn't really do too much to 14 toughness. Nope. All righty, Ledger Shredder 2. There's a Light Pause to consider. Light Pause doesn't do much right now. So, yeah, let's kick things off here with Ledger Shredder, followed up with a Sentinel's Eyes. Let's get some cards drawn. We can connive something useless away. Probably the Esper Sentinel at this point, but yeah. If we can find a removal spell for this Phoenix, it is game over. Yeah, really the main card that Gregor really needs here is that one of Brazen Borrower to be able to <laughs> deal with Core Spirit Dancer. Outside of that, I don't really see an avenue um, in his list right now that can bring him back from it. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not looking too hot right now as Core Spirit Dancer is going to go, hello, could I have some more life, please? Up to 30 is Andre Strasky. As soon yeah. as this pigeon jumps in the way here and meets its inevitable demise. I wonder if we even just unholy heat the Arclight Phoenix here just to yeah, save just to prevent 15 the life, gain. life. It's like 15 life is still very difficult to deal, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot better than 30. If my math, yep. uh, you know, is, is checked out right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a really heads-up play there from Gregor, yeah. making sure that the damage doesn't happen. There's a Faithless looting now. Can he string together 15 damage in the air? That is the question, because it's do or die time now at this point. So what, we had three Phoenixes, if I remember. That was the fourth. Yep. <laughs> the Thar, you went Wait. pirate there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I was so shocked. If that's the fourth, <laughs> if that's the fourth, all we have to do is deal with Letter Shredder and cast three spells, yep. which Unholy Heat is. Yeah. I might. So, I think as long as it? there was four of them in the graveyard, like I thought I saw, I think uh -huh. this is just lethal because of that Unholy Heat on Gregor's own Arclight Phoenix last turn. Yeah. So there no goes the Arclight way. Phoenix in the bin. I think one got exiled, so there's three. Oh, there is three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, okay. So he's not there just yet. Well, that's a big deal. Man, that's only close, three. though. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, let's see. We'll see at combat how many jump up out here, but Unholy Heat can take care of that Ledger Shredder. Or we could see a similar repeat of what happened the last combat where the blocker on the Core Spirit Dancer just gets chowed. Ooh, hello. Wow. Raisin Borrower, baby. Okay. Woo. Okay. Maybe we can play a more fair attack with like two creatures. Attack with the Dragon Rage Channeler. Attack with a Phoenix. Leave two Phoenixes back. 
have uh -huh. Brazen Borrower for this Core Spirit Dancer and then try to finish the game off next turn, it's going to be really, really dependent on what Strosky draws. If Strosky just chains off a couple more auras here, oh you know, it still could easily be Strosky's game to lose here. But if it's yeah. another land, it might not be possible. This is a game. I don't think, oh, geez, I don't think I have enough to get Lurus out either and cast a spell off of him. Uh, you could cast a Crypt if that's valuable. You know, yeah. you can go Lurus, Tormod's Crypt, uh, yeah. if these Phoenixes die, but that's not ideal here. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is spicy. Three attackers in for nine. Strasky. I'm going to go down to six here. And I wonder if you just have to Petty oh, Theft close. this right now. Yeah, the one in case of a protection spell, right? But here's the thing. Here is We were talking about how great Slip Out the Back is uh, yeah. compared to other protection spells. It does remove it from combat. So that is actually the weak part of it. You know, Slip Through yeah. the Back does phase it out. So, you know, it's not as good as some kind of other effects that would just give it hexproof or just give it indestructible yeah. in that regard. And with a land here, I don't see how Strotsky can actually do anything after this petty theft deals with Core Spirit Dancer. Yeah. This, <laughs> unfortunately, we have the answer to this massive life-linking creature in the Brazen Borrower, and there's no interaction in hand here for Strasky. So excellently navigated by Gregor Gruers as both creatures are getting in for an attack here. Yeah, Gregor played great this game. Mm. To put them in a position where they could petty theft this and just, you know, lock it up here. And that's the power of the Phoenix deck, just being able to dig through your library like this, you know. It's not dependent on creatures on the battlefield like this, like the Auras deck is. Mm -hmm. But you have to have something sit and then go crazy with it. So can we do anything with these Sentinel's Eyes post board that gives Andre some other cards that helps him live for a turn? And well, we're gonna find out, so... Yeah. Or Spirit Dancer's Sentinel's Eyes have to exile a couple things in the bin, but at this point, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Get rid of the stuff that Lurus Khan hits. Yeah, and this was a really great attack, too, from Gregor, because if Gregor left one more Phoenix back, Lurus plus Tormod's Crypt to shut down Dragon Rage Channeler and to blank the other Arclight that's in the graveyard would have actually mm -hmm. left Andre alive and we see what happens when Andre has a turn where he's able to just, you know, play a bunch of auras. Wow. Man, excellently played there from Gregor Gruers. Congratulations to him. A very convincing victory there with Is It Phoenix. I mean.